Good morning. This is Timothy Zelmer from Live Free University and Hotel Central Boquete. And today's subject is Boquete. Best foods in town. Buen dia, amigo. Best food in town. Now, I'm a guy I like to eat. And Boquete is very blessed with some super meals and some great chefs and restaurants here. And, uh, We've really lucked out in the last couple years. We've had a bunch of new restaurants come in right in the neighborhood of the hotel. And uh, let's just get started. Yeah, my, uh, my hotel is in the north central part of Bajo Boquete. The Hotel Central Boquete is the home of Live Free University. And right next to the hotel, we'll just start with some of the closest spots is uh, Jenny's. Jenny's restaurant is a typico. It's just down from the hotel going back towards the center of town on the left and it's excellent. Plus a lot of times she'll have guanabana. Guanabana is soursop and she makes this nice chicha, this natural drink. Wendy, come on stop me. And uh, the other thing, she's got great San Cocho. Really good. It's like a buck and a quarter. Get a little rice for an extra 50 cents, throw it on top. You got yourself a really great lunch. San Cocho is like the national uh, traditional soup. And uh, going in the other direction, up the hill, away from the center of town, when do you? You've got a great spot, very typical. It's Danny's Kiosco. You go all the way up, maybe almost a kilometer and a half, a little over a mile. Wendy amigo, como esta? And uh, they have frituras. We had a video about typical foods, but that is, oh my God, we, we just love them. About every week or two, we'll have somebody run up there and for about 20 bucks, you can feed a house full of people with these. Um, they're great little miniature uh, meatballs and these little fried corn snakes, that, that's almohabanos and abondigos in reverse order, yeah. Abondigos are the meatballs and almohabanos are the corn snakes. Fry bread, which is ojaldras, tortas as well. They'll do those. Tortas are like a fried corn cake. And uh, the carnes humedos, the, the smoked meats. This is very good and maybe not so good for you if you're doing them every day, but it's a great value up there at Danny's Kiosco. Going north from the hotel, when the road splits into a Y, you take the right split, and just before the bridge right there past the split, there's a bus stop on your right. That's where you're going to find Danny's Kiosco. It's actually a home. There's a sign in the tree. It's a kiosk or a kiosk. And that's one of our favorite places. Now, going down from the hotel towards the center of town is what everybody's calling a restaurant row. And oh my God, have we been blessed a couple of years with an explosion of great restaurants. Starting down at the corner where if you cut a hard left, you're heading to the new bridge that cuts over the river. You're gonna find right there is the Posada, La Boquetena. The uh, Posada has a cowboy on a horse statue on top of it. You can't miss it. My wife, she loves the uh, nachos. Me, I love the Sicilian pizza. It's an Argentine restaurant, so you know the steaks are gonna be good. We, we really enjoy it. They've really expanded that place. And it's got a great atmosphere. The bar in the front, it's uh, been rebuilt and expanded, and that's super cool because uh, they get sports from all over the world there. In the back, that you can do typical. Buen dia, amigo. A oh, nice looking dog. And uh, that's fun. You can dance in the back, and it's huge. Nice view towards the river in the back. Uh, old fashioned Argentine cooking. Love that Sicilian pizza there. Um, right across the street, we got the neighborhood's newest restaurant, 
and that is called Autogastronomico. Davide Carrera is a good buddy of mine from Italy. He moved here a couple years ago. This guy, he likes to open restaurants and he is a five-star international chef. He's a rock star chef. Oh my God, we're lucky to have him. He's, he's opened about a half a dozen restaurants now and I think he's over in Europe opening one in Andorra, that little tiny country between France and Spain. Hope you're doing okay, David. And we're waiting for the baby. His wife's gonna have a baby over there. And then they're coming back home with the whole family. So, I like that it's one block from the hotel on the right, right in front of the Posada. And I tell you, they got some pretty good deals. Wendy, come on, down. And, uh, oh, the beef tips, very nice. Very, very nice. And great salads, too. Now, as you keep heading down, well, maybe we should make a mention, if you took that hard right towards the bridge, the one that's only about 100 yards, 100 meters from the hotel, that one to the left there, just, uh, just a short ways away, is the Panamonte. I think our president just bought that place. I know I think he bought the house at the end of the bridge as well. It's a cool neighborhood. It's like a wilderness stretch of river. It's great to walk out on the bridge there, but the Panamonte, the Panamonte is the oldest hotel here. And uh, Charlie, he's the chef down there, pretty famous guy. He had one of them kind of humorous uh, chef competition shows here that was a, a little hit. Now, um, the cool thing about that place is they have grandfathered in in the original old bar in the back. It's a great big bar. There's the fireplace to the right, the very romantic. And uh, if you want to go for a nightcap and have a little romance, that's the place. And this place is super famous. This is where John Wayne and all the old Hollywood stars used to come and stay. Sean Connery, you know, the James Bond guy? He lived there too. He used to split wood for my neighbor. He's a well-known guy here, Sean Connery. And uh, that place is pretty cool. The fireplaces are great. The meals, not cheap, but good. And uh, nightcap, you can't beat the fireplaces. Plus on Thursday, I think they're still doing it. They have free movie night. That's kind of cool. So uh, the Panamonte, real nice place to eat there. Now, going back down from Autogastronomico and the Posada, La Bocatania, the Argentine restaurant with the cowboy with the horse on top, just going down from that, you start hitting some of our best places. And the, the first one you're gonna run into, it's Tre Scalini, and they got my favorite little snack. James, this famous computer genius, chef, and now he's a farmer. He's got an organic super farm. He's growing all kinds of cool stuff, and he goes around, teaches the local restaurants how to use his stuff with great recipes. But the top thing I love to eat in town is the eggplant tower. On Tre, Tre Scalini's menu, on the top left, it's the first thing on the top. I think it's only like six bucks. It's beautiful, it smells good. It feels good in your mouth. It's amazing. So don't miss that. And please don't take my table in the back. The one in the back center, you open the windows there, you're overlooking this beautiful forest. It's a eucalyptus forest. It's an amazing experience. Great help there, very friendly. Giselle is doing a great job. And by the way, across the street, she's gonna open up kind of a high-end, typical, typical food. It's uh, like the Purple Place. That's gonna be open here in the next couple months. Now, just next to Trace Galini, Davide's got another of his restaurants, a pizza. It's an old fashioned Italian pizzeria. You know, those igloo stoves with fire bake you up a pizza in like five minutes. All the different kinds of imported beer. Real good vibe there. Simple, not too expensive. Really nice. Then he's got his other two. The one, the Butcher Chop House. I love that place. Yeah, they've got meat from everywhere. He does his own beef aging, Panamanian, U.S. top grade from all over the world. He's got meat I've never heard of. 
steaks from who knows where. I told him one time, I think you're making the names up. I've never heard of it. I'm a cowboy. I never heard of this beef. Very, very good. Now the cool thing there, it's just like a camping, you know, a campfire. He has these smoke boxes. You can't make this stuff up. He roasts up specialty herbs and woods and stuff. After your steak is cooked, he brings these steaks out in these cool wooden boxes with the smoke all a steaming out and smokes them up right there next to your table. Very cool. Good smelling restaurant, let me tell you. Hey, buddy. So that's a cool place to eat. Very nice bar there as well. Wonderful, wonderful experience. And then the cool thing is between that restaurant, his first one is next door. And that one's called Retro Gusto. Retro Gusto. It's like, you know, retro old style. Gusto is fun. Yeah, it's really fun to go. That's like my favorite place of all. And uh, Davide, he does a great job. The help is excellent. He expanded first between Butcher Chop House and Retro Gusto. Like a, a cool little area. He's got a fireplace in there. Super romantic, kind of open air with a little tent type thing over the top. I like it. Now, he's also added on the back a great big balcony, like a big terrace. He's putting a fireplace out there too. Now, I love the mushroom ravioli there. It is really hard for me to order anything but the, the mushroom ravioli. It, I'm just hooked on it. That mushroom ravioli is to die for his appetizers. Oh, and the other thing, I taught him how to make a virgin Ar Arnold Palmer. Some, some of you guys may know Arnold Palmer was one of the first rock star professional golfers in the world. My dad was a huge fan of his and he had, well, he invented this drink. Arnold Palmer is half tea, half lemonade, and it goes great with all Davide's meals. So you can get them virgin or with alcohol. I, I get mine virgin. A great big tall half tea, half lemonade is called an Arnold Palmer. Ask for it there and in Retro Gusto, they'll know what you mean. Now, the other thing he's got there, he's got these specials. He's got a steak called the Tomahawk. It's bigger than your head. It's like a giant, it looks like a Tomahawk. I mean, seriously, it looks like a Tomahawk. That's really fun to eat with a friend. Um, he's got great salads. Well, it's like an international fusion. It's just an incredible place. Yeah, ask for the special of the day. You won't regret it. Great fish as well. My wife loves the giant pork chop. And it's just one of our favorite places to, to treat ourselves when we go out to eat. Now, oh, by the way, here's Jenny's right here. They're going by. Yeah. That's, this is the beginning of Restaurant Row. And uh, see right there, that's the, uh, the Posada right there. Oh, and you can see Otto Gastronomico right there too. So, so that's the beginning of Restaurant Row. Now, we got a bunch of other little uh, haunts around the neighborhood too. Burger places, cheaper places, all kind of stuff. Hey, amigo, como esta? <laughs> man, man, <laughs> that's a buddy of mine from the neighborhood, good guy. Um, now, you go down into town, I got some favorites too. We'll start with my biggest favorite, and that is Papa Rico's, Rico's Pizzeria. You go down here um, over the original bridge where the BCP and, you know, the Gringo Market's there Tuesday morning, they have a lot of cool food too. That's between nine and noon, Tuesday mornings. But across the bridge, straight away, right next to the Tika Bar is Papa Rico's. Now, they got some food down there to die for. I am a huge fan of their calzone. It's like the folded over pizza, you know? It is extraordinary, huge inexpensive it's like less than five bucks for a big one you could split with a friend 
and they she makes this sauce it's fantastic this sauce is unbelievable I always order extra sauce and she's got good drinks you can sit outside down, down on fair days because it's right there you know right next to the bridge is the uh, Bocchetti flower fair and this place fills up with people it's really fun to people watch now back in town next to the cop shop is another one of our favorites and that's La Orchidia full reveal I think this is my wife's cousin but I think everybody's related to my wife here somehow we got a really big family they have got Friday fish specials because you know most of them are Catholic Catholic here and they have great food I love eating there they have great Sancocho uh, it's a little tiny little hole you can hardly find it it's the orchid La Orchidia fantastic place probably my other favorite most favorite typical in town is down at our gas station area we only really have one gas station right in the middle of town and uh, just to the west two doors over is the uh, Bocchetti Garden Jardin de Bocchetti and they got like two tables bolted to the ground with two benches bolted down outside a few tables and benches booths inside and if I got time want to relax read a book that's where I do breakfast they have good coffee they got liver and onions I love it the breakfast is excellent even better the, the lunches really really good so I love to eat there very economical all the locals are there so you know it's good now a little farther away my I think it's my wife's cousin too but um, is the, the chopstick the uh, no yeah the it's a Chinese food place down in Alto Boquete well worth the trip it's like two bucks by a taxi or something like that or 60 cents by uh, by taking the bus and it is fantastic it oh, I just love eating there to sit or to go they got pretty good internet too and um, they have spring rolls to die for I love the spring rolls and the gung pao chicken the sweet and sour uh, they're lovely people very good service hey look we're at the hotel Hotel Central Boquete right here at the base of Rainbow Ridge we've got the backlit cross right there now the other place I like to eat is my mother-in-law's house they cook up the good traditional stuff but I don't think you're coming over there yeah I'm a lucky man ah and then to finish my other probably most favorite meal is here at Hotel Central Boquete and you know we got this drive through coffee I'll walk you through it this drive through coffee is a, you can get a BLT a bacon lettuce tomato with or without egg to die for and I mean it is good Whew. yeah I gotta cut off the bacon it is delicious it's fantastic you know we got two other sandwiches available from 7 in the morning we do you know breakfast uh, sandwiches like that and also all the week we go up to 10 30 at night you can you can hit it here at the drive through right there uh, Panama's first drive through coffee amazing now the other two sandwiches we do is the classic Derretito that uh, means ham and cheese fried in butter oh it's better that way and uh, we, uh, we have a couple others is a tuna fish with blueberries if we've got them or craisins which seems like we can always get the the dried uh, cranberries and walnuts on wheat or white it's fantastic tuna fish is excellent and then uh, so we got the BLT the Derretito and uh, this uh, uh, tuna fish so that's always available and uh, you know the other thing I really like eating here at the hotel and that's included in our uh, bed and breakfast uh, if you're, you're buying it with uh, breakfast included is uh, the fact that we do our own uh, super oatmeal it's like the American style little packets of instant three different flavors and uh, we have walnuts almonds uh, craisins or blueberries if they're available and uh, prunes with the with the incredible uh, butter from Denmark and honey 
yeah and cinnamon too if you want it you can get it to, for here or to go and it's included in the breakfast we have probably the best breakfast in town here it's 10 bucks only still and it's american style a lot of times they're running a buffet here and that's a real cool thing and that's between eight and ten but starting at seven you can come th come in and uh it's included is the uh, super oatmeal so like if you're hiking and stuff like that you can always get that to go or for here and that's a good way to go so that's my story about my favorite foods of Boquete, and I'm glad you're here. This is Timothy Zelmer for Live Free University and Hotel Central Boquete. We hope to see you down here. Come try out some of our great foods. God bless, and thanks for coming. Please subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss any of the upcoming new videos. Thank you very much. <laughs>